this video we will be doing a scan of the abdominal aorta. For this scan we will be using the low frequency curvilinear transducer. The depth should be set appropriate to the patient's body habitus. For larger patients use the maximum depth possible, usually about 30 centimeters. In this case we have used a depth setting of 14 centimeters. This scan is obtained by placing the transducer in the transverse plane in the subxiphoid space. During this scan we expect to see the following structures. The right lobe of the liver, the anterior surface of the vertebral bodies, easily identified by their associated posterior acoustic shadow, the inferior vena cava, the abdominal aorta, including its bifurcation into the left and right common iliac arteries, the superior mesenteric artery, and the celiac axis. Okay, so now we're ready to start scanning. The transducer is in the transverse plane. The orientation marker on the transducer corresponds with that on the screen and indicates a patient right direction. The depth has been set to 14 centimeters. Identify the right lobe of the liver. Then identify the anterior surface of the vertebral body. This is usually easily identifiable as an echogenic arc that casts a posterior acoustic shadow to the bottom of the screen. The abdominal aorta sits just anterior to the vertebral body. It usually has a brightly echogenic exterior wall and a dark anechoic center. Pulsatility can be visualized. Next, identify the inferior vena cava. On the screen, this will usually lie to the left of the aorta. Remember that screen left is equivalent to patient right. The exterior wall of the IVC is thinner than that of the aorta. It too has an anechoic center, and transmitted pulsations are also often seen. While maintaining the transverse plane, slide the transducer cordially towards the umbilicus. While doing this, continue to focus on the aorta, visually noting its external diameter. The presence of bowel gas anterior to the aorta will occasionally obscure its view. Larger pockets of bowel gas will need to be manually compressed in order to visualize the aorta. Smaller pockets of bowel gas, as is the case here, can be ignored and simply slid through. Return the transducer to the portion of the aorta visualized to have the maximum diameter. Then, using the calipers, measure the external diameter of the aorta. Place the caliper external to the wall on one side and external to the wall on the opposite side. If the aorta is circular, the anterior posterior diameter is measured. If the aorta is oval, the maximum diameter is measured. Finally, rotate the transducer 90 degrees clockwise in order to visualize the aorta in the long axis. The transducer is now being held in the longitudinal plane. Identify the anterior surface of the vertebral bodies and their associated acoustic shadow. Identify the abdominal aorta. Note how the aorta becomes more superficial as it tracks caudally. Identify the superior mesenteric artery and also the celiac axis. This completes the scan of the abdominal aorta.